Welcome to the Hecker Family Homestead. Today we are going to borrow a recipe that we saw on Two Old Crows Homestead. I believe it was episode number 12. They do a Dutch oven uh, breakfast. And ever since we saw that in Germany, gosh, I actually uh, was at Aldi at like right after we watched that episode and Dutch ovens were on sale for like 10 bucks. And I thought, cool, we're gonna try this. Um, and here we are months and months later and we're, we're gonna do it. Step one, set up your, I guess this is called a chimney, and you're gonna put your coals in. All right, so I'm at my trusty, trashy burn pit. The cardboard's been wet, not wanting to go, so I threw some leaves in here. And if nothing else, I know leaves will go up like nothing. Yeah, we're already smoking there. There we go. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what I'm doing. All right. Topped off the coals with some more leaves. Leaves, nature's fire starter. All right, so after you have cooked your sausage, got your biscuits ready, it's time to start throwing the stuff inside. The actual recipe on the Old Crow's YouTube video um, has her cooking all this inside here. Um, we don't have a campfire. We're at the house. We just wanted to try it. So we cooked all that on here. Uh, brand new Dutch oven is ready to to roll so let's do this I'm gonna pour that in here <laughs> not yet it's not pink. yet i'm told okay not yet it's pink not yet what do i know well i mean aren't we gonna cook it more no we are but didn't she she didn't say do it halfway okay you're right yeah why do it halfway when we can do it full way just don't want it to be raw okay don't we don't know. want raw meat no no we don't want to ruin this recipe we are already using almond milk in the uh, biscuit, mix. biscuit mix, so you know we'll we'll stick to as much of the original as we can. Which I mean, we're not even cooking it in there yet, so we're already breaking rules. Mm -hmm. While well, Katrina is working her magic in the kitchen, I'm gonna hop out here and make sure that the one job I had to do getting these coals started actually worked oh yeah it looks pretty good yeah they're glowing in there all right hooray for leaves right. don't don't poop on Jacqueline's face let's not Jacqueline get your face out of there let's not get pooped on today come on come on girls huh you're just gonna eat you're gonna eat a holly bush huh I thought that was bad for you I wouldn't touch the fence if I were you oh oh you just want to come over here and pee Delicious, sweet, wonderful artery clogging grease in there. Yeah. Who needs arteries when you have flavor? All right. So, I got the Southwest style. Well, Southwest style it is. Oh man, I want that one. Oh, uh, yeah. was that two pounds of meat? I wonder if this is not a 10 inch Dutch oven. It's, it must be a lot smaller than hers. Huh. All right. So, we are next is your hash browns. After that comes the cheese. Yeah, cheese. 
sharp like a tack. Here, this is a one pound bag of sharp cheddar. Just going in. Yeah, okay. She said that she liked the eggs on the outside to make sure they're cooked. Yeah, she made a mountain of the um, potatoes. Oh. Yeah, a mountain of the potatoes. Okay. And then she cooks the eggs out on the side. Look at you go. So we went a little lighter. Getting some more. Oh, you're getting more. She's getting more. Never mind. We All didn't right. go light. Did you make the beautiful ring? Mm. And a beautiful oh, raw one egg. Broke. Well, you know, it doesn't mind. It Should is not sentiment. No, don't do any more eggs. No more <laughs> eggs. Uh, and last but not least, the the uh, biscuits. So we just uh, rewatched the video because we had a, a nagging suspicion that we put the cheese on too early, and we did. Uh, you're supposed to make the mound of potatoes in the center, then crack the eggs into the bowl, and then the cheese goes on over that to cover it. And then we've got, this is the part that, that really had me right here. I saw this and I thought, I have got to try that. We've got to do that. I wanted to do this for months. But finally we're here. All right, so we have put the layer, you can you can leave the, the cheese, it can be exposed. I know. It's gonna cook and expand. Okay. Okay. So try to get all that off. All that dirty I, I goodness. I don't like throwing it in the, in the oh, sink. Oh, that's true, yeah, <laughs> that, that sounds like a mess. And there we go. Now, on with the lid and outside to the cold. Okay, <clears throat> out we go. Man, I tell you what, this container is quite heavy. On the video, she breaks down the math of the size of your Dutch oven versus how many coals you're gonna need. I'm gonna cheat and use her system. I highly recommend you watch it. YouTube, The Two Old Crows uh, Homestead. It is video number 15 and if I ever figure out how to add links into my videos, I would definitely link that here. All right, so we are doing a total of 20 coals because we have a 10 inch Dutch oven. We are gonna go eight on the bottom and 12 on top. Let's not start a brush fire today. Okay, so holy moly, I may have left the coals to cook too long. Gosh darn it, all right. Already failing this brush. So a few of these just straight up broke as I'm trying to put them in, but that is eight on the bottom. And now we're gonna do the 12 on top. Okay, so fingers crossed I didn't mess this up too bad. I got really, really small coals. I think I cooked them entirely too long. So I'll just add a couple little more remnants on there. Next step, let it cook for 45 minutes. So we're not there yet. I just, I, I have my doubts. Um, because the coals are so teeny tiny, I got a little worried. Um, it did take a while for us to make this. Um, so by the time I got back out to the coals with this, they were really too small. They had kind of overcooked. So just to be safe, I'm going to go ahead and start some more coals. It has been 45 minutes and I am a little trepidatious about opening this. I'm concerned that these coals were too small and thus not hot enough to do the job. I've got a backup set in case we need to do this over again. These coals look so much better. Holy moly, they are burning my hand. Trying to lift this puppy up. There we go. Wow, it's still really warm here. 
It's on. Okay. So we threw these larger coals on. Let it cook a little longer. I can feel the heat on this one. I couldn't feel the heat at all on the other one. It might have to cook longer, actually. <sighs> nope. Nope. Okay. I remember hers not looking so messy. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Mm. A little more? Yeah. So here we go. Let's see what we ended up with. Brought it inside. I added oodles and oodles of extra time. It doesn't look done. We're going nuclear. It's it's going in here. I'm making this happen because I want to try this food, darn it. Okay, so here we are. Um, we are about almost at two hours. <laughs> but we finally got it cooked. So I'm going to... Somebody over there is trying some now. I am going to try some as well. Okay, Jimmy, so you are going to try the new concoction that we've made that For we got. For a long time. It was, it it, was taking a long time yes, to it, make that thing. It took a long it time. It was supposed to be breakfast, but now it's like dinner. Okay, so anyways, so here we go. I am going to try, what do we got here? Some hash browns, some sausage. Mm, oh, southwesty yeah. with that. Those mm. hash browns. Mm. And they weren't frozen like the old they weren't crows. Frozen. Mm. Oh, hey. Not that the two old crows were frozen, but <laughs> the, um, <laughs> the uh, two old crows are frozen, frozen no. in the winter. So, final verdict on the food awesome. It's delicious. It's wonderful. Uh, we love it. But mm. everyone calls us heckler or hacker. Mm. Like, they just changed one thing. It's weird. Right before the E-R. L. Yeah. H-L-E-C-K-E-R. Mm -hmm. That's how you spell hacker. Okay. Not and with an L. speaking of hacker, thank you for watching the Hacker Family Homestead. Please like and try subscribe. Trying new foods. Trying new foods. And, and the girl that wouldn't try it. Yeah, so the one I person in the family it. who wouldn't try it. Baloo even ate my egg because I'm not an egg person. Uh, it's just zombie. Um, huge thank you to the... Two Old Crows Homestead for um, the idea for the recipe. And thanks for watching. Thank you all. Have a great day. That's just way too old. However, cook the sausage in the Dutch oven and then your Dutch oven's already heated to the correct temperature and then you don't take so long to make the food. Didn't realize that, didn't even dawn on me that hey this thing should already be hot and cooking sausage and why won't my 20 coals cook this whole thing uh, so definitely do that even with that delay it's super awesome it's the only dutch oven recipe i know of uh, so i'm looking forward to finding out some more thanks for watching <laughs>